A watch list allows you to create a collection of symbols that you want to follow while you're visiting the barchart.com website. Now a watch list is a little bit different than a portfolio. A portfolio is used if you're tracking shares that you've actually bought or sold and you want to uh, calculate profit and loss. A watch list is simply a list of symbols that you are interested in checking each day when you come to the website. Now we're looking at a watch list that I've already created over here in my account, but if you are brand new to Bar Chart and you have just logged in, you'll probably get a message like this, you have no watch lists. Again, watch lists are a feature for site members, so if you are not a member of barchart.com, all you have to do is register to gain access. We're going to start off simple here and we're going to create a new watch list. First thing it will ask you for is a name. And I'm going to skip over this. Uh, the rest of the information here we will come back and talk about that in a subsequent video. I'll save this and I've created a new watch list. So you'll notice it tells me that I need to add some symbols. So to do so, I can simply click over here, type in the symbol name, and it adds it. If you have a string of symbols that you know of, and you can also add those, separating them by a comma or by a space. And actually, if you are importing from a spreadsheet, you can just copy the symbols from a spreadsheet, paste them into this this uh, text box and add them that way. One of the other places that you will be able to add a symbol to a watch list is from any of the symbol pages themselves. Right now we're looking at the price overview page for Apple and up right here in the corner you'll see a little icon that says watch. If you click on this it will bring you up a list of all the watch lists that you have and you can add that symbol right there. Another way to add symbols to your watch lists is by using the links column on any data table on the website. Over here you'll see links and if you open up the links column you can add the symbol to a watch list right here. It tells me this symbol is already on a watch list and if I want I can remove it from one and add it to another. It's been added to my watch list removed from stocks that I'm watching. And if you are looking at flip charts, say I'm moving through and I'm looking at the different charts and you see something interesting. Right over here in the left column you'll see that you can click the link and add a symbol to any watch list. Finally, Dashboard also has the option to add the symbol to your watch list. Click the Add to Watch List button from the side Again, I can remove it from one, add it to another, all in one step. Let's go back and look at what we've done. Again, watch lists are part of the tools menu. And you'll see these are the symbols that I've added from the symbol page, from the data tables page, and from dashboard. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. And thank you for using barchart.com.